Hello and welcome to episode 3 of The Lincolns. Now as you remember, we just remodeled a good portion of their house, including um, Sue and Amanda's bedrooms and the living room. So what's going on today? Well, Laura is calling the headmaster of the local private school to see if he would come over for dinner. Now, Sue really wants to get into private school. She feels the best way to get a prominent career is to start out now and get into a nice private high school. Well, in order to do that, they have to invite over the headmaster and impress him. So, he will be coming around dinner time. In the meantime, Sue's playing some video games with her new friend Chris. You can see both them and the TV in this angle is kind of cool. Yep, and you still have that old painting on the wall there. I kind of like that house. Alright. Now, um, Laura still has logic points to get for her promotion, so she's playing her uh, chess with Chris. Because Sue is now off doing something else. Yep, in the bathroom, I guess. Well, at any rate, it's about time for Amanda to come home for her first day at work. Ah, she doesn't get a junk car like so many other Sims. Oh, here comes Amanda. Now working as a security guard. I don't know, it looks quite natural, don't you think? Yes, I think it's a promising career path for her. So anyway, skip forward about an hour to when Mike comes home. Yep, the the famous white van, or bus I guess. And here he is. He didn't get promoted or anything, but he's still going to act like he's king of the world. Watch. Yeah. Well, he deserves it. He's a great guy. Everybody likes Mike. Anyway, Lou, er, Amanda's in here having some food. Now changed back into her normal clothes. And um, pretty soon it will be time for the headmaster to arrive. Alright. Well, here he is. You can tell it's him by that expensive car. Well, okay, Sue. It's time to uh, work your magic. You're going to have to impress him. So, she'll come downstairs to meet him. Now out of her swimsuit and into her normal clothes. There's three... Oh, excuse me, three categories of things you have to do to impress the headmaster. And you can see him up there in the corner. You have to schmooze with him. And you can schmooze about three or four different things. You can schmooze about school, about work, about money. Also, he likes to see a tour of the house. And the nicer a room is, the more points you will get for the tour. And of course, dinner is an important part. So, if he likes the food, more points to you. So those are the tasks facing them today. If Sue wants to uh, get into private school, he's going to have to. She's going to have to impress the headmaster. Things are going pretty well. Chatting it up with him. He seems to like her right off the bat. At least that's my impression. <coughs> And now it's time to begin the tour. And from the outside, there's not really much point to it since I don't have a, you know, a garden or anything. Although it would be something cool to get in the future. And now she'll show them the main room, which I guess consists of all the first floor except for the bathrooms, because it's one large room. All right. So, 
Time to schmooze a little bit more. Hmm. Looks like Sue's pretty good at schmoozing. At any rate, Laura, it's time for you to start preparing dinner. Because the headmaster is hungry, and we need to impress him after all. Alright, now Sue shows off the upstairs of the house. Watch the headmaster come up there. Show him this hallway first. And then you can show him each of the bedrooms in turn. You see, he's kind of like, eh. Which means, it's so-so. It gives you a few points, but you're going to have to do more than that. To give him a good tour. So let's bring him into Sue's new bedroom. See what he thinks about that. Uh, sounds like he really likes it. Guess I made a good, de good decisions when I was redesigning it. All right, Sue. It's no time to talk to your friend. You'll have a lot of time to talk to her later. It's now time to uh, continue the tour. All right. Why don't you show him Amanda's room? He'll probably like that. All right. He likes that at least as much as he likes Sue's room. So. She's getting tour points. <coughs> we'll show them the uh, Mike and Laura's room now. As wait a minute, Laura, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be making espresso. You're supposed to be making dinner. Get back to that turkey. <laughs> okay. Anyway, show him that room. See what he thinks. Uh oh. Sounds like he doesn't like it. Oh well, it's not too much of an exciting room, but I think the tour is pretty much over. I think we've gained enough points from it. Now it's time for dinner, and of course, a bit more schmoozing. I really do think Sue is very good at schmoozing, which is going to help her in her business career. Alright, at any rate, the turkey is now served. And unfortunately, it sounds like, Laura, or it looks like Laura has slightly burnt it. Well, hopefully he likes his meat extra well done. Alright. So, well they're eating, but where's the headmaster? He's nowhere in sight. He's sitting over there watching TV. Hey, what are you doing over there? Come over and get some food. That's one weird headmaster. Yeah, no kidding, his stomach's hungry. He's watching TV instead of eating. Alright, there he goes, finally. Sits down at the table, but... <coughs> he waited so long that everyone else is done except Laura. But that's alright. He can eat dinner with Laura. Alright, come on, Laura. You have to eat, eat neater than that. In front of the headmaster. You don't want him to think that Sue is descended from slobs, do you? Well, anyway, it's we're looking pretty good. We look like the, we got this thing locked up, but let's tie it off with a few more schmoozing sessions. That's a fun word, isn't it? Schmooze. Everyone say it with me now. Schmooze. Uh, well, that one didn't go so well. But it doesn't matter because he he accepts her. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Sue is now accepted into the prestigious private school. Something which neither Amanda nor Lucy ever managed. So now Sue, her aspiration is through the roof, and the aspiration of Mike and Lo Mike and Laura, her proud parents, are also through the roof. Amanda. I really don't think she cares, one way or the other. But, she has to be happy for her sister. I don't know, maybe she's jealous. Eh, could be. But anyway, it's bedtime, so... Everybody get to bed. And... Rest for another exciting day. Well, Sue, you should be proud of yourself, because now... 
you're on the road to success. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see everyone next time.